occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? I thought you knew that. I suppose I could ask Liliana. She has collected a frightening amount of information on you. But I don't want to ask her. I want to hear it from you. The Circle of Magi at Ostwick. At least until the rebellion began. Yes, I suppose that would have required you to stay on the move. Tell me, do you consider the free march as your home? Are you eager to go back? Wherever I am is home enough for me. That's how I feel now, after years of tending to business for the Divine. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. Is there any harm in us becoming a little closer? Plenty. Is that right? <sighs> as you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentecost, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lord. You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. Oh yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. And you joined the Seekers to get away from that? It was a life worth getting away from. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Antony. Another time, perhaps. You don't seem to like your homeland much. My family polluted it for me. What little I saw of my homeland was through the bars of a gilded cage. My uncle treated me like a porcelain doll to be placed on a shelf and dusted only when necessary. Thus, I did not see Navarra. The real Navarra until much later. By then, I realized I knew it not at all. Your uncle? What about your parents? They had the misfortune of taking the wrong side in the second attempt to overthrow King Marcus. The king executed them, but spared my brother and I since we were family and children at the time. Thus we were raised by my uncle, a mortal etasi who preferred the company of his corpses to the living. Your uncle was a mortal etasi? A death mage. He still is. My countrymen do not burn the dead. They bury them in special crypts. The Mortalitasi supervise the crypts, like priests. Uncle Vestalis oversees the Grand Necropolis. Nevarans spend more time honoring dead relatives than they do with living ones. It is odd to be so fascinated with death and its trappings. I will never understand it. So you were the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine, but my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish, but it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. But what does a right hand do exactly? What is your hand capable of? It gives, it takes, it beckons. It makes a fist. Liliana and I extended the Divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. We went where she could not. After Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seekers. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. You thought she could really change things? Justinian knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it, but the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. 
That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. So what's the story about you becoming the right hand? Sweet Andraste, do you really want to hear that? It was, what, 18, 20 years ago? Some still discuss it like it happened yesterday. The tale gets bigger each time it's told. I barely recognize myself within it now. You're stalling. To hear others tell it, I alone saved Divine Beatrix from a horde of dragons sent to assault the Grand Cathedral. Rather impressive for such a young seeker, wouldn't you say? And the truth is? I stumbled upon a conspiracy to kill Beatrix. A Templar Knight Commander was at its heart. And there was a dragon battle at the Grand Cathedral. But I had help from loyal mages who rallied to the cause. They freed the dragons from magical control. Without them, the Divine and I would both have died. Yet I became the right hand, and they are forgotten. What happened to the mages that helped you? They went back to their circles, with rewards and privileges and most holy's gratitude. Many of them died at the conclave. You're delightful, you know that? No. I do not know that. Mm -hmm. I object. There is nothing delightful about me. I beg to differ. <sighs> I think I preferred you in the stocks. I'll let you get back to work. 